welcome to Newark 2022. This show has been missing from the Picard calendar for far too long. It was always popular with the clubs and was known as the club show. And as you can see, the clubs did turn out to support the returning show. Inside the hall we had the TKC stand of course with Carol and Steve and manufacturers large and small turned out to support the new show. Quantum turned up with some new kit, a hard top for the extreme and doors. As you can see it integrates really well with the shape of the car and according to Rob, it's very roomy inside. Definitely fits with the shape of the Extreme, I'm sure you'll agree. Hawk turned out with a really nice stand as usual, a mixture of 289s and of course the Stratos. Mev had this car covered up for much of Saturday morning. We we're all curious to see underneath. And there it is, RX-8 bits, the lovely Mazda rotary engine. GBS, as always, put on a good display, including their kit bits. Another look at that RS8, RX-8. Moving on from GBS, we had AK sports cars. We'll come back to these radiators a bit later. MK, another manufacturer that always puts on a strong display. And they didn't disappoint today either. AK had their GT40, the Cobra of course. Isn't that lovely? The quality these kits ooze is, and of course, the XKSS. This is so charming. Keep your eyes peeled, you'll see more on this. XKS XCS designs, pardon my French, turned up with what can only be described as an immaculate display of superb chassis. You can see why their suspension gets a lot of praise. This is the Rush. And these are the Cobras. When you've got a chassis that good, whatever you put on top is going to do well. Truly superb. And when you put a body this good on, you really do have a winner. Again, just like the AK, attention to detail. If you want bits, a kit car show is a great place to get bits. All sorts of bits. Tools, parts, wiring, how about a bit of memorabilia for your garage? or some trim for your Cobra. Ah, back to these radiators by Coolex. A fantastic display. Something that's often overlooked and they look superb quality too. Outside, 
the scamp owners. Isn't it great to see a, a group of scamps? And they came with some very interesting vehicles. We'll come back to this one later. Moving on to Quantum, this is where my guilt comes in because I should have my Quantum back on the road. There's not a lot wrong with it, it's just a case of getting the money together to get it MOT'd. But when you see cars like this, it really does make you want to get back out in yours. Isn't that lovely? Inside the tent, protected from the sun, although the wind was whistling around a bit, and one of the rare uh, pop-up headlamps conversions. Nice car. In fact, it was a nice little gathering of quantums. Again, I feel guilty. Could have been another one there. You'll have to come over to the Enwins Motors YouTube channel and give me some stick for not getting my car back on the road. Nice collection of MEVs. Surprisingly small display by the Westfield Owners Club, but those are the times, I guess. A solitary J15 represented silver, and isn't it lovely? It looks fantastic. And a real credit to Jeremy Phillips. His chassis are brilliant, no one can deny that, but the man is also very, very good at styling a car. I mean, look at this. The Citroen Specials Club always have something really nice to look at. And look at this. Isn't this adorable? I just had to come and have a look around. It's a four-seater. It's practical. It's cute. It's got a boot. Isn't that great? There should be more of this in the world. A lovely little Pembleton. Citroen based kits always do a lovely turnout. Lovely Real Sabres, and they are as exquisite now as when they were first launched. It's lovely to see a little Minari. A nice little Minari. Blast from my past. Moss Owners Club with a couple of Mulvans. I love these little cars, especially the Herald based ones. It just seems like a perfect fit. There are some owners clubs, it just wouldn't be Newark if they weren't here. So.
Lambo Reproductions Club. Another classic kit car is the Marlin range. And it has to be said, they really are classics in their own right now. Look away Morgan owners of a nervous disposition. These are the GCS Hawks. Another classic mark of Newark shows of old is the Eagle Owners Club. And here is a particular favourite of mine. The Eagle SS. Originally the Cimbria SS. And this looks like one of the Beetle Vase versions, but they did later do a Cortina based version and that can be spotted by the hump on the bonnet but it's very very rare to see one of these completed and on the road The Italian replica owns club. Always a good source of exotic cars. You've got everything there from Testa Rossa replicas to 250s to Stratos's, Lamborghini Countach's. Here's quite a rare thing, an RV Nemesis. Jaguar V12 power in a lot of these. I believe this one is a Rover V8. Later in the day, it looked like the stamp owners were able to take on all comers. That is an operating water pistol on the top, by the way. That's the kind of nutters we love. And so to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.